everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for Wednesday, 27th of March, 2019, <clears throat> excuse me, 3 p.m. Lots of things are it's firing and being revealed on this planet at breakneck speed. It is very important that we individually and as a whole understand these things as they become more and more and more revealed. As the curtain is pulled apart, and the brightest light is shined upon the vileness that has transpired throughout the ages on this planet and is still being perpetrated. This is why it is so imperative for each and every one of us to think for ourselves. And the reason that is, is because it is a very deceptive view if you are still being led by external authorities. It's very difficult when you have been immersed in something so, so very long to differentiate between being in this system and not being in it. As you think for yourselves, you begin to see the illusion undo itself. And I, as I have shared several times, we are the change, not the governments, not external authorities. We are the change. And this is in full swing. It doesn't mean that everyone is bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, awake, and aware. Okay. Minority is, but at each year it has expanded. Thinking for ourselves is very powerful because we carry on conversations with ourselves. We think through the heart-mind, and we say, okay, well, we figure, remember, you're the master and commander of your mind and ego. So when you're reviewing things, going over things, asking questions about things, anything that does not feel right or vibrate with you at a frequency that is in high frequency, this is a very simple thing to do once you're in line with yourself. The awareness is paramount. That's why this meditation is thinking for yourself. And once you get into that motion, that energy, that frequency, you begin to turn the pages and consume the information of total integrated honesty, where you begin to realize that you are the power that you are the master and commander, that 
you lead yourself, that you think for yourself. It is a major awakening for many that come to this realization. It isn't about anger. It isn't about revenge. Those are heavily steeped in the goopiness of this illusion of this three, this third density. So when we become, it's, it's almost like you, when you see something, you go, wow, this is so wrong. This is not right. And tonight we're going to go into some real uh, strong areas of awakening for everyone. But thank you for yourself. And we're here to assist our brothers and sisters of civilization to do this. We see their lights. We just have to, we just assist them with removing the blockages that have been so ingrained in so many. Some are so far in the pit that they will take quite a while to come out, if ever. So remember, not everyone is ready or receptive to this awakening. For them, it will be much slower. Doesn't mean they won't get there, but in any way possible that we can assist, we will. So if you will, you go to a place where you're not gonna be interrupted, which I'm sure most of you are. And as I talk, you're gonna to wanna to relax. It's so important as the energies are so intense is to relax your body, drop your shoulders, become, move yourself in the frequency of being at ease. Move yourself into the now. You ever notice how much energy it takes to constantly be thinking into the future? And notice that we are drawn to do that, that it is almost habitual, that we keep being drawn to tomorrow, the next day, a week from now, a month from now, and we harbor and we concentrate on these things. It's, it's exhaustive to spend our energy that way. And it's also exhaustive for the past. So when you relax your body, understand that moving yourself in the now eliminates this unnecessary use of energy because you are concentrating on the moment that you exist in the very now. And you will find that once you are there, that all of the other stuff drops away. It no longer infiltrates your thinking. It's eliminated, but as soon as you move off, it floods back in. So this is all part of relaxing your physical body. Understand that your soul is not stressed. Your soul is in joy and in bliss. Your spirit, your God spark, your higher self. So relax the physical body, move yourself in the now, which then allows you to move into peace and joy and happiness And as you're relaxing and as I'm talking, you're gonna to wanna to breathe. You wanna breathe through the nose, breath in, and exhale through the mouth, breath out. And as you breathe in, you're gonna to wanna to hold it 1001, 1002, 1003. And then exhale through the mouth. 
You're going to want to do this at least six times while I'm talking. As you're breathing in, you're breathing in divine positive energy. This energy, the only time it becomes negative is when you inject it with negative frequencies. Okay? It's like pouring poison into clear and clean water. So the divine positive energy always communicates with you nonstop, 24-7. And, and what that, that energy transmits today is that you are the power, not a concept, not an idea, but a reality. You, each and every one of you, are the power You become to realize with humbleness and confidence without ego that you are everything and anything that is needed. For deep eternal love, bliss, happiness, joy, peace, prosperity. You are that. A lot of times people just do not embrace this. They do not take it deeply within themselves to understand it. So the divine positive energy communicates this to you. And with your higher self, the higher self knows this. that you, each and every one of you, are the one. That you are ever so close to plugging in collectively to the collective consciousness of the universe. This is your conduit, your power. As you breathe out, you're breathing out a collected amount of goop, of dankness, of lower frequencies, of fear, of worry, of stress, of anxiety, of confusion. You are breathing this out. You're expelling it knowingly. It's not something that you, 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 it's not something that isn't there that's just a figment. It is there. Because each of us create it. Every split second of every moment when we become aware of this and we become the master and commander of our minds, then we're able to identify and we're able to expel. Eventually, you no longer bring them in. And if they do come in, they last a split second and they vaporize. So, this is what you exhale. You're balancing your field of power, of energy. You're balancing it. You're harmonizing your frequencies to a wonderful uplifting level. Power charging you, your existence, your essence. We turn and we go into our heart mind. The reason we go into our heart mind is because it is much more powerful than our mind. And our mind is a trickster. And it is, it is a companion to the ego. By being in the heart mind and operating from the heart mind, you're able to command and master your mind. It isn't an enemy, neither is the ego. But in order to master and command it, you must be in the heart-mind. You must separate yourself 
from being seduced into this illusion by your mind and your ego. Relaxing message information, confirmation coming into you, holding into the heart mind. You float above the heart and the body. And as you do this, you are immediately joined with heaven, your higher self, your spirit, your soul, your God spark. You're immediately merged with your heaven. The body is earth. The spirit is heaven. Together, it brings heaven on earth for all life. We flow, we identify our energies, our frequencies, and how it is spectacular, how it uplifts us, how it en enables us to smile inside and out, how it enables us to experience joy and create joy, how it enables us to forgive, to love, to nurture, to care, all of these things. These lights, these, these shimmering, glittering, misty light of energy that permeates and saturates all that there is. The emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael. The purple transmuting flame, the violet ray. The golden white pink light of prime source creator God, mother, father, God of deep eternal love. the white fire, the purple, violet, and blue flaming light of Archangel Michael. All of these energies reveal themselves constantly as we see them within and without. You're part of this flow, this frequency of, of a very high level. And we're immersed in complete protection and comfort knowing this without ego. And as we do this and we flow, arm in arm, hand in hand, we're drawn to each other. We are pulled together effortlessly by our energy, our light energy, our divine essence, and we become one. Arm in arm, hand in hand, we form a circle of light. The circle of light never ends. This is why it is a circle. It is always. So the circle of light is very bright because our higher self, our God sparks, form the circle of light. It is very powerful. It cannot be broken. It cannot become not. And as we float up, this circle of light draws the attention of the collective consciousness of the universes. It pulls the all of the, we call, as we call out to the light energy beings that are in all densities, all existences, everywhere, in all universes and beyond, they come in, they join us. And we literally embrace all of them. We, they come into the circle, the circle completely explodes with exponential expansion. And it's unending, it's infinite. And so we thank them and we greet them as they do us. Because we're all one, we're all connected. And that's why our light grows brighter and brighter. We call in the archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim the archetypes, all of the angels, and they hear us because we are part of the collective consciousness and they come in. There's no ego. They, it, it is just love. It's love. It's deep, eternal love. And they come in and join us automatically in the billions, thousands of trillions, quintessillions of these energies of the collective conscious of the universe come in and join us in this meditation. We love them all. 
they love us and we're thankful and grateful for them for joining us. And we call upon all of the Ascended Masters. And there are many. There are some that have never been spoken of. We just speak of the immediate those who are aware of. And they too are part of the collective consciousness. In Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Buddha, Saint Germain. Abidantia, El Moria, Sananda, Jesus, and they're with us and they join us and we embrace them and our light expands and we are all in joy, complete peace and centered and focused on higher energy, higher frequency. We call upon all the galactics that are assisting the civilization in a deep eternal love and benevolent place that they come. And we thank them for joining us in this meditation. We embrace and we are honored and humbled as they are. And our light, our circle is vibrantly bright. We call upon all of the inhabitants of inner earth and hollow earth all of the inhabitants below the surface of this planet who are of benevolent, deep eternal love, peace, and joy, and bliss. We call upon them to join us in this meditation. And they're here, they're with us, and we connect, and we embrace, and we thank them. And this is all deep eternal love of being together and harmonizing this energy that we are, the very essence of creation. We call upon all of our loved ones that have passed in this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've inhabited, billions of them, to join us in this meditation who are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love, and they're with us, they join us. And our circle is grows and the light is brilliantly powerful and it dims the darkness of space. We call upon all of the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms on this planet at this time. That's the fairies, the sprites the elves, the gnomes, the trees, the elements, earth, wind, air, fire, the pegasus, the unicorn, the mermaids, the dolphins, the whales, all of these energies. It is, you, it, the, 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 the frequency that in, it increases and rises is absolutely astronomical. We are bathed in it. We are together. We are in joy and in peace. We are omnipotently powerful. We thank all who are with us, who come with us, who lovingly join us in this meditation. And the darkness of space is no more. The sacredness of space is filled with light. Creations are happening at this very second. New universes are being born. Old ones are extinguishing. New solar systems are appearing. New stars are being born. We look up and we see our meditative sphere holding all of our meditations in perpetual motion. This is our
our creation. This is all of our creation. All of those who join us in these meditations creation. We are bathed in the emerald green flaming healing light. This is a power, an essence of healing. We are literally bathed in the purple transmuting flume, the violet ray, the white fire, the purple, violet, blue, flaming light of Archangel Michael, the golden white, pink light of Mother, Father, God, of Prime Source, Creator, God. All of these are us. We are together. We are home in the highest frequencies. And as we feel the rain from the sphere, saturate the tops of our heads in a warm, penetrating immersion that lovingly embraces our physical body, our etheric bodies from head to toe inside and out. We are aligned. We are put into perfection of frequency. This is our doing. We feel the absolutely astronomical power and we look upon the planet and we see all of life, the entire civilization, all of our brothers and sisters. We see the obstacles that block them within them and without them. And with our intense, deep, eternal love light energy that we are all emitting, we breath it across the planet. We watch as anything that is dark and dank, manipulative, any external authority is immediately vaporized in a loving way. It's extinguished, it is gone, it does not exist. And no matter how hard your mind and your ego try to convince you that that is not true, you are more and more empowered to stay in the now and to exude the confidence without ego that it is true, that it is happening, because you're part of why it's happening. And each moment that you stay in the now and that you love who and what you are and that you love everything around you, this goop and this dankness cannot exist. It is of our doing and our creation, the slower we, we slip into the lower frequencies, the more of this we will create. The more violence that we participate in, the more of it we will create. This is part of the trick of external authorities to convince each and every one of us to not think for ourselves, to not create wealth, not create value, and not build wealth, and be led on a leash to our ending. We are pure, deep, eternal love. Our highest essence of all creation is love. We think for ourselves. We lead ourselves. We are assisting our brothers and sisters in all life on this planet to do the same. Feel the vibration within your heart the softness and the love, the peace and the kindness, the joy and the humbleness that is spreading across this planet and this solar system in high intensity. I'll join you in the meditation. I'll return to close this out.
grow more and more into awareness, <clears throat> we become clearly unmessed with very high frequency, very high power. I know that all of us can feel it. It is becoming more and more prevalent and it will continue to do so until we are fully merged with the light of all creation and that we're fully aware of who and what we are. We'll take this, <clears throat> excuse me, throughout the day into the evening and night and the next morning. We're going to be tonight, we're going to be addressing some things about this financial wealth distribution. We're going to be sharing some things that you must be clear and aware of. We're going to cover life. We're going to talk about further educating ourselves and our power. We're going to talk about the planet and what she means to the collective consciousness of the universe. We're going to talk about energy. And we're going to talk about mastering energy. So I would highly recommend that you get a notebook or something so that you can take notes. So this information comes in, it comes in, and then that's it. We will be back here March 28th. 2019 at 3 p.m. Eastern. Be a total peace and be in the now.